Nicht sehr viele von uns haben sie bisher sehen können oder hatten das Glück, sie zu sehen. Es geht um unsere Wüstenlöwen. Und was diese Löwen so besonders einzigartig macht, das erfahren wir heute von Felix Waller, dem Projektkoordinator von dem Desert Line Conservation Trust. Und Kollegin Katja Hase wollte von Felix heute wissen, was der Desert Line Conservation Trust ist genau und natürlich macht. The Desert Line Conservation Trust is a small NPO, a non-profit organization, who is doing research and collect data about a very specific desert lion population in the northwest of Namibia. We use this data for science, we make conservation recommendations to the ministry, and we also use this data to anticipate and to deal with human lion conflict with other stakeholders and other NGOs. Okay, when we say desert lion, what exactly does that mean? Yes, it's a bit of a tricky question. So it's the lions of the Namib, the lions who survive most of the time in an area where there is less than 25 millimeters of rain per year on average. So it's, it's a population of lion that shows very, very specific adaptation that we do not find in any other countries in the world and in Africa. Like the fact that they leave the pride at an early stage because the lack of prey cannot sustain a big pride of lion. So they are autonomous quite early, like two to three years old. The fact that they are super healthy and they walk super long distance because the territory is so big. The life expectancy is, is also longer because they fight less with other lions because there is more space. The fact that some don't drink at all or have never been seen drinking. These are all specifics that make them desert lion. What do you mean they're not drinking? Some lions have never been seen drinking water. Oh. And uh, Dr. Philip Stander spent a lot of time with them and he never witnessed him uh, drinking just from the blood of their prey. How many desert lions do we still have in Namibia? That's a tricky question, um, but a very uh, fair and interesting question. First of all, yes, we are in the seven years of drought uh, up to this year, which means that the prey population declined quite a lot, which is the main source of food for the lion. So it's a natural ecological pattern that the population also declined of the desert lion. We went up to 150 in 2015. Now, with all the lions who died of hunger, and also of the human lion conflict, because when they are hungry, they go close to farms. We went down to approximately 80 plus. It's kind of a natural process that we have to accept, that uh, populations are growing or decreasing depending on the weather, especially in big open areas like this where there is no fence. The population is still healthy enough to regrow, which will probably be the case because now with the rain, the prey will come back in one year, two years, so the population will actually pick, uh, pick up. And about desert lions, Most of the lions have a territory that overlaps between the desert and the Great Escarpment, west of Etosha. So it's difficult to really put up a boundary. Lions don't make a difference between, a bit, between the desert or not. So it depends on the time of the year. Sometimes there will be 45, sometimes there will be 80 in the desert. It changes a lot. Das war Felix Waller und in wenigen Minuten geht es hier weiter mit dem Gespräch über Namibias Wüstenlöwen und mit welchen Projekten der Desert Lion Conservation Trust die Löwen und auch die Farmer in der Kunene-Region unterstützt.